today the plan is to drive around the island of Pulau Langkawi on our scooter and check out the main attractions that you have to see here on Langkawi even if you're here for a short time. And we're starting with the famous Langkawi cable car, which is also called Sky Cab. And it's here in this touristy village, <laughs> can't describe it any other way, um, which is called Oriental Village. It's kind of a theme park. What we're gonna do is take the cable car up the hill to have some nice views. We wanted to come here quite early today and it is 9.30 right when this place opens because we wanted to beat the crowds and also beat the heat. We did manage to beat the crowds, I think. It's not very full, but the heat is already there. It's full on but at least we can directly go in. That worked out, so that's nice. You wanna nice. check out the selfie museum first? I'm good. <laughs> good, I think. First challenge of the day, downing this water bottle because they're not allowed up on the sky cab. Go, 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 chug, chug. You wanna, you wanna <laughs> drink something too? <laughs> Hot day, it's a bit like a sauna in here, but the views are amazing. <laughs> This whole cable car experience is more like a quiet, calm and serene experience. Unless you're afraid of heights, then it's horrible for you, probably, because it's kind of steep. This is the middle station, so this is the first stop you do, and then from here you get into the cable car again and go to the final stop. Oh my god. I don't like it when it's shaking. So these guys are upselling geniuses for the Skycap. You've got different options. Express lane, private gondola, glass bottom gondola, or VIP gondola. You can just spend a lot of money here. What's for breakfast? <laughs> Don't call me out on that. We didn't have time for anything, so I just bought some twisties. This is kind of like one giant amusement park with very great views. Once you get to the top station, then you've got the choice to buy all the other attractions and one of them is the sky bridge which we're going to do to get to the sky bridge you can either walk 10 minutes or you can take this train that probably takes about 10 seconds <laughs> to get to the sky bridge so we decided to walk I think this walk is manageable for almost everyone because um, the stairs actually go down first and then up and in total it's 10 minutes so it's it's really doable. Also it's in the shade. It's in the shade. It's kind of nice. I didn't expect this. Looks like we're going to a festival and what we didn't know is that this bridge won the Footbridge Award 2005 in the category Technology. Long span. That's pretty cool. One disadvantage of visiting this sky bridge it's definitely the sun. There aren't really any shady spots on this bridge and I mean, I don't know, this is probably the hottest day in Malaysia ever recorded, I think. No, it's not, but still, it's kind of warm. I mean, look at this, we're the only ones here. This is a viewing platform at the end of the sky bridge. Got a really nice view, the, uh, the hills look nice. And then we have to walk all the way back, take the nature trail back, and then take the cable car down, then have some lunch. That's the most important part of, uh, of this whole plan. We even got a gondola for ourselves this time because it's quite empty at the point where you go down. Not very empty at the ticket counter for the sky bridge, so I think it's a really good idea to come here early. We're off to our next stop, which is a coffee shop. When I said that the next stop is going to be food, I forgot that we also wanted to check out this waterfall that's next to the cable car, or like five minutes from it. It's just a five to ten minute hike in the warm sun, but it's kind of easy. You can then also hike up for two and a half more hours to the top of the waterfall, and we're definitely not going to do that. Yeah, no, no, not today. 
not today. We didn't really expect to find such a nice cafe at a major tourist attraction like this. But I mean, look at this one. It's even got like an iced coffee bear on top, which is pretty smart concept. Of course it looks nice. And then also, as it melts, it doesn't really water down the coffee. The little bear is super cute. The woman inside setting this coffee is super cute. So this is definitely a recommendation for the way between the cable car and the waterfall. To stop by at Coffee Nuts. This is one part of the waterfall you can visit and it's quite empty here. I think the other part is going to be a bit more crowded but we'll see. So technically you could have a little swim in the pools of the waterfall here. We just dipped off Yidin and now we're gonna go to the other part of the waterfall. Uh, feeling a little refreshed from the ice cold water, which is nice. So humid. I would guess this is about 500% air humidity, at least. It's 71. That's what I said, 7,000. So here we are, the seven wells, wells part of the waterfall, <laughs> like seven pools. pools. You can swim in them as well. I don't think we need to go swimming because we're already swimming in our own sweat. <laughs> that would actually be one reason yeah. to swim here. Actually, we should probably go swimming, but... No, but we are planning to go to the beach later, so I think this is gonna be our option to swim. But it's nice that they have this bridge here where you can have a nice view all the way to the ocean. Actually. And you can also see the Langkawi cable car from here. From another perspective. Looks quite high. Yeah, I think this is the waterfall that we also saw from the cable oh, car, yeah. which is quite cool. We found something to eat. Every second restaurant was closed in the area, so we're very happy that we found a good Nazi Kampur stall here. And the owners are very, very nice and friendly. As per usual with Nazi Kampur, you just choose your own ingredients. So, oh yeah, like little dishes that you want to have with the rice. So I chose a vegetable curry and then a piece of chicken, which is nicely fried. A little bit spicy, but I like it. It's really well seasoned, super good. I can't believe you ordered a hot tea. I know. But I mean, it's what the locals what would probably say, right? do, right? Yeah. Yeah. You should uh, drink hot tea to cool you down. It doesn't feel like it while you're drinking it. Maybe after. So that's. I know. I ordered an iced lemonade. I feel like I'm done for today, <laughs> especially after eating this. Like all I can do, maybe, is lie down at a beach and rest, which is what we're gonna do now. Well, will you look at that? This is, I think, the beach we were looking for, but we would have never expected that we would find such a beach here on Langkawi. I mean, the beaches here are pretty good, I think, but a beach like this with turquoise water, white sand, this is special. And this is our camp here. I'm so happy we found this spot. Another guest in our guest house recommended it to us. He's been staying at this guest house for two years now and he checked out all the beaches on this island. He said this one's his favorite and we definitely understand why. Also, I've got a small bench. That's perfect, you know, for an old back. <laughs> this is perfect to just sit here and enjoy the view. This beach has even got some monkeys in a tree. Perfect temperature. And also here in the background is Thailand because Langkawi is 
If you look at it on the map, it's pretty much above the border of Thailand. So we could swim there if we if we wanted to, but we, we don't. We could, and if we had the physical ability. No, we just don't want to. Oh, yes. Also, we got told that behind us, there's some kind of way, I think, in the stones. Um, and if you follow that path, you get to another beach, which is even more secluded. Um, maybe we're going to take that out on our way back. Okay, we are now trying to find the other beach that is supposed to be even more secluded. So if you're trying to find it, it's on the right hand side of the beach. Yes. Path, if you're looking at the water. You have to go onto the rocks and then there's a small path that leads you to this hill. So let's see if it's even worth yes. it to go there. <laughs> But it's a nice one. We have to be careful not to get um, flooded. <laughs> and there's a big pyre here. Maybe it's uh, for sitting on? I guess, because it's definitely not a car tire. Well, it's a beach. Yes. It is super secluded, I guess. Probably Langkawi's most secluded beach. That's what we would claim. But it is also a little bit full of trash. You know, behind me, old flip-flops, some bottles, some nets from fishing. Not really that nice. I mean, cool for some pictures, definitely. It is a super nice spot, even though it's easier to find some shade on the other beach. So I think we need to leave before we get burned. That was super nice. But now it's time for dinner. So off to the night market we go. market looks really good. Basically here on Langkawi every day of the week you've got a different night market at a different place on the island and as today is Tuesday this is the night market here in Pedawang and I really like it. Right now I think we're just gonna scout the best spots and the food that we want to try and then just have a nice dinner. All the stalls look very very good. I mean I can't say anything about the quality before I've tried the food but the presentation is very nice and you can see what they offer um, quite easily because they have it all spread out on the table. They have like example plates um, and it's quite organized here. I really like it. So the market is great, but the one downside is that you can't sit down anywhere to have a meal. <laughs> it's basically just for people who want to take away stuff, which is also cool, but for us, it's kind of inconvenient. So now we're just sitting uh, somewhere on some steps next to the market. And Where some boys and girls are playing football, which is probably gonna land in our faces, let's be honest. <laughs> yes, it's a matter of minutes, I think. One thing I bought is these pancakes, basically, with some sugar and peanut butter inside, or peanut pieces and butter. But it tastes like peanut butter. It's super good. Very crispy, thin as a crepe, and just very tasty. I mean, it's basically a peanut butter pancake. What's not to like? I got some nasi ayam tomato, or nasi tomato ayam, I don't know. So it's rice with some chicken and a spicy tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Quite spicy. I like it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna eat the whole piece of chicken though with a spoon. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll have to use my hands. We do have some disinfectant, probably the way to go, um, but you don't want to see that. I also got a fresh mango juice, which is delicious. So my dinner, except for the pancakes, consists of some chicken on rice. I got some chili sauce and some soy sauce, and then also a soup in a bag. That's the ultimate challenge to somehow <laughs> eat that here. I mean, I have got a spoon, so that's a good start. 
the sun has gone down, we had a really nice dinner and that also means that our long and exhausting but super fun day is also coming to an end. I think Langkawi really surprised us. We didn't expect to come here to find an island with such variety but it's been like a really nice summary of what our time in Malaysia has been all about. The people have been super friendly, the food has been great pretty much everywhere we've gone and then of course also the sights, attractions, the nature has been really nice as well. Of course there are also some really touristy attractions here especially on Langkawi but I think we really enjoyed them because they're all kind of relaxed and if you go early in the morning or late in the afternoon you'll be fine. So with this our time in Malaysia is also coming to an end. We are really sad to leave but this will definitely not be the last time that we visit this country and with that we're saying goodnight and we'll see you in the next video.